Well, more than half of Americans are planning weekend getaways, and if you're looking to hit the road this summer, we've got some great deals for you. And we have Travel Zoo's senior editor Gabe Saglia in studio with us. Good to see you. Great as to always. be here. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. So let's talk about some wonderful getaways. Let's start close to home. Close to home. You know, and we're working with the Arizona Office of Tourism. We, we want to promote summer travel within Arizona because this is, I think, where some of the best values in the country are going to exist over the next couple of months. Yeah, let's start with 100 so miles. So let's say you can only, you know, you know, that's a round trip that you can possibly do with a tank of gas. You know, 100 yeah. miles. Where can you go? Obviously, beautiful Sedona. This is the La Berge de Sedona, gorgeous Ford Diamond property. Uh, makes all kinds of Condé Nast uh, traveler lists. It's when you spectacular. It's spectacular. Gabe. When you check in, you get a glass of wine to set the stage right out of the gate. One fifty. $59 a night uh, with a $25 resort credit. You get that deal all the way through August. Wow, that's um, terrific. How about Prescott? Yeah, I've done I the drive. It's a gorgeous drive out of here and some beautiful properties out there. This is the Hyacinth Sampa Inn, historic property there in downtown Prescott. Dates back to 1927. The Jewel of Prescott, you know, their lobby was hand painted. Just a uh, spectacular property. It's got such history. The Hyacinth Sampa is right next to Whiskey Row. And, right, and, and walking the, distance. Yes, it's really kind of, it's just charming. And $75 a night, or you splurge on the King's suite for 118 great <laughs> deal through September and of course Tucson great properties in Tucson I love this one the Hacienda del Sol guest ranch resort uh, Mexican Hacienda style property Clark Gable stayed here Catherine Hepburn Spencer Tracy but I bet they didn't pay $79 a night which you can do uh, all the way through September the that's 3rd. amazing that nice? I love Tucson I love it's the Saguaro National Monument quick getaway, all of that. Yeah. yeah absolutely all right let's say if we want to venture out a little bit right, farther let's say 200 miles miles. Miles. how about uh, Lake Havasu this is a great Beautiful. property the London Bridge Resort in Lake Havasu City. It's set right on the Colorado River in Lake Havasu. Family friendly. They've got three pools with a water slide. Uh, and then you've got all the water sports right there next to you. 109 a night. You get a, a night great to one bedroom suite. Breakfast for two in the morning. That deal's good all the way through August. Have you been to Lake Havasu City? Not, it, it's been too long. And me too. Right? Yeah, and so this place. is a reminder that, again, this is the time of year when, obviously, because the heat goes up, the value goes up up with it. So go north. A, yeah, go north. That's it. <laughs> All right, let's say we want to really splurge and go 300 miles. All right, 300 miles <laughs> takes you to beautiful Las Vegas. Yes. Now, I love to talk about Lake Las Vegas. It's about 30 minutes off of the Strip, so you can access the Strip easily, but otherwise you've got the beautiful lake there, beautiful resorts there as well. This is the Westin uh, Lake Las Vegas Resort, Four Diamond property with its own uh, lakeside beach. 119 a night. Uh, great golfing here as well, and again, you can get to the Strip within like half an hour, and then you're back by the lake uh, at the end of the day. By the way, if you want to do something neat, that you know, you can use the Vegas Strip for some great adventure opportunities. This is a company called Papillon Airways. They'll pick you up from any hotel on the Strip, and then they'll hop you on one of these um, e EcoStar EC-130 helicopters. Wow, look at Stadium that. seating, wide windows, three-hour tours set to music, a lot of it, uh, and you can do the tour to 219 per person all the way through the end of the That's year. That's incredible. Yeah. Have you been to the Grand Canyon lately? Uh, again, it's been too long. Not since I've had kids. So <laughs> Maybe you so need I got, to get out I gotta, more. I've got to take the kids out there, and then we'll hop on a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's really go for it, shall we? Yeah. Let's go 400 miles. So 400 miles. <laughs> when we did our summer survey, uh, California was the number one desirable road trip destination. And, you know, it's tough to beat San Diego, where I used to live uh, several years ago. This is the West End San Diego in the heart of downtown. Great AAA Ford Diamond property, uh, and you're in the heart of the Gaslamp Quarter, and all the great, uh, great. family activities are nearby. Uh, 145 to 225 a night, depending on when you travel all the way through July. Uh, and not too far from San Diego, about an hour and a half north in the mountains of San Bernardino County, uh, is Lake Arrowhead. This is the Lake yes. Arrowhead Resort, four-star property, beautiful pine tree setting, great restaurant on site as well. 239 gets you a two-night stay here in a lake view room uh, all the way through the end of the month. But July and August rates do go up a little bit. I spent the 4th of July on this lake last year. Just a spectacular setting. Great water skiing. Be yeah. You, know. you, you learn how to water ski real, real quick as everybody you, else is doing it around you. Yeah. You do. And the water is like glass. Exactly. Too, and that's right. really important if you're learning how to water ski. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. What great ideas. All right. So let's go for the real one. One more. This yeah, is if you really one. like the people you travel with so you can stand 800 <laughs> miles in the car with them. Uh, the Rocky Mountain <laughs> 
mountains. This is another great destination where the summer months bring some amazing value. This is the uh, Winter Park Mountain Lodge in Winter Park, in the, you know, nestled in the Rocky Mountains. Bike trails, fishing, a scenic chairlift rides, uh, and you can stay here for $59 a night with breakfast and a couple of welcome cocktails as well. Again, you know, Colorado, just like Arizona, becomes a haven for value during the summer season. It's such a gorgeous place. Yeah. You know, people are you know checking out the economy, worried about uh, gas prices. Yeah, exactly and right. Like yeah. That. What are you seeing? Well, you know, summer? the the energy department is predicting that gas prices will level off at an average of 357 for the summer months, oh, okay. which is below what we saw last year. Not much, but just right. below enough that I think people are really considering the road trip idea. And I think the road trip mindshare is just bigger this year. People are l really looking as a way to offset air costs, which are higher yeah. uh, year over year by hitting the road. Gabe, I have to ask you. You're a travel expert. What is number one on your bucket list that you have not done yet? That I've not done yet? Um, I'd say probably the South Pacific. Uh, mm -hmm. Australia, my kids uh, talk about Australia, uh, Fiji, Bora Bora, some of these great, which, out of here, you know, you can get a flight out of Phoenix, hit Bora Bora within about 10 hours. So it's not as far away as you'd think, and right. it's just a very pretty place. Sounds good to me. Right? All, right. All right. I just want to get to the Grand Canyon this summer. I'd be All right. Well, with that. Maybe, maybe we'll do a road trip. What do you think? <laughs> you know, we both got to hit it up. It's time, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Gabe. You bet. And for more information, more details on these great deals, go to TravelZoo.com slash TV slash Arizona Midday or on Twitter at TZooTV. There you go. Thanks.